Orchids have always had the reputation as being hothouse flowers that require a lot of pampering and special care. But these delicate looking plants actually grow wild in Kentucky and can be enjoyed by anyone with the patience to look for them. The lady slipper orchid gets its name because the shape of the petals have been fused into a pouch that resembles a slipper. Some people call it moccasin flower, but it resembles a shoe. There are these incredibly beautiful and delicate flowers that, that have this unusual shape that they're quite showy. You know, there is this fascination, particularly with orchids, to see them and photograph them because they're so beautiful. The hairy woodman, this is hirsutus. Besides the beauty of the plant and the shape of its flower, lady slippers are fascinating for other reasons. Some species can take seven years for the plant to produce a flower, and then seven more years to produce seeds. They produce half a million dust-sized seeds that must land in exactly the right conditions in order to germinate. But when they do, they can be incredibly long-lived. That lady slipper you found in the wild could be a hundred years old. In Kentucky, there are a number of different species of lady slippers. The most common one, perhaps statewide, is the pink lady slipper orchid. It grows in eastern Kentucky on sandstone ridge tops and, and can be quite abundant uh, in that habitat. The other very common one is the large yellow lady slipper. And there are places where I've seen two to three hundred of them in one patch. And so it can also be quite common. It flowers in the spring and it typically grows in what we call a mesic woods or a moist woods. Then we start to get to some of the more unusual ones. For example, the small yellow lady slipper orchid. The small yellow lady slipper uh, now is recognized as, by, by most botanists as a separate species. At one time it was a, a variation of the large yellow lady slipper, but because of differences in the size of the flower, the size of the opening, uh, and a couple other taxonomic features, and uh, of course, the flower size is about a third the size of the large yellow lady slipper. The small yellow lady slipper is recognized as threatened in the state, uh, occurring in mostly the eastern portion of the state where there is a great deal more habitat destruction uh, and habitat loss. Here on Pine Mountain, uh, I know of this population here and uh, a newly discovered population of about nine total plants. There's about 20 in this population. The Kentucky Lady Slipper is perhaps the most sensational of all of them. It stands about two to three feet tall, and it grows in what I call floodplain forests of eastern Kentucky, where there are uh, more mature woodlands. Um, and it, of course, has a slipper about as big as a, a person's fist. It's kind of cream to off-white color, and it flowers a little bit later than the others. The final one is the little tiny white prairie lady slipper orchid, uh, Cypripedium candidum, and it grows in, un in an unusual habitat here. This in the true prairie region where it grows, it's, it's almost a wetland type species. But here in Kentucky, it grows in very dry, xeric, almost shaly type of grassland habitat. One other species of lady slipper is making its Kentucky comeback. Not found in Kentucky since the 1800s, the showy lady slipper has been reintroduced into Mammoth Cave National Park. It really is the queen of the lady slipper orchids. The small has a very small <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, pouch on it. Now,
Three species of lady slippers found in Kentucky are considered threatened and have very few populations in the state. Some of the threats facing lady slipper orchids are habitat loss due to logging, mining, or development, invasive species such as Japanese honeysuckle taking over the orchid's habitat, and poaching. And this is a serious problem in Kentucky, and so because of that, um, agencies do not release the locations of, of the Kentucky lady slipper because of the threat of poaching by humans for uh, either the garden trade or the collector trade. All orchids should be left in the wild. Uh, as I said, there's about 18,000 species of orchids and clearly 25 to 30 percent of those are rare and endangered because mostly of habitat loss. So they need to be left uh, in the wild. The pink lady slipper has a wide distribution, and, but yet it is by far the hardest one to transplant. They uh, have a symbiotic relationship with a mycorrhizal fungus that lives in the root systems. And what this uh, fungus does is that it uh, enables the plant to take up minerals and nutrients much easier than it would do so on their own. That's why uh, that lady slippers uh, do not transplant well, taken from the wild. Fortunately, there are nurseries that have learned how to grow them from seed. Now, these plants have a, a tendency to be a, a bit expensive, but uh, you got to remember the reason that they're expensive is it takes them seven years to produce their first flower. Photographically, they're just very showy, and you know it's hard as a photographer. Even though I have a file that's an inch thick of images of, say, for example, yellow or Kentucky lady slipper orchids, when you see them, it's just really hard to resist not to take any more images. They're just that beautiful. Being a botanist, uh, I've come to where I sort of detest the winter time. Everything is gray. There's nothing green out. So. Uh, with the first warm days, uh, you know, we're out looking. This is one of the first places I stop uh, to see, okay, how far along are they? Uh, how many are going to bloom this year? And then a little further out the road here, we got the large yellow lady slippers to look at and uh, pink lady slippers uh, scattered all along the top of the mountain here. So uh, it, it's a nice place to live and work. These are the most evolved plants, okay? When you look at plants, they have the most complicated reproductive strategy. The orchids do, they're the most advanced, they're the most complex plant family. And, you know, people have been fascinated with orchids since they first started collecting them, probably in the 1800s. The lady slippers are a group where they're just so showy and spectacular that people are just naturally drawn to them. If you're lucky enough to find a lady slipper in the wild, enjoy it, but remember to leave it there for the next passerby to discover. You can get lady slippers to enjoy in your own garden from one of the many Kentucky nurseries that now carry native species in their stock and they can put you in touch with a club of orchid enthusiasts in your area.